What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Raven's Reviews and today we are reviewing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. <clears throat> um, straight off the bat I'm going to tell you that I am recording this late game. Um, I have completed the game so all mechanics that you see here, um, I guess you could say are spoilers. Um, but obviously, I'm not going to try and show off too much for you guys. I'm in one of the early stages as well, so don't, you don't have to worry about any uh, later planet spoilers, shall I put it. Um, so yeah, first impressions after I completed this game. I thought it was a brilliant game. Um, from the simple gameplay mechanics, to the storyline, um, to even the interactions with... Um, NPCs and the cutscenes as well. Unfortunately, I don't have any cutscene um, gameplay for you. Um, all I have is the gameplay that's showing right now. Um, I just were on one of the planets while I was recording this video. Um, but I'll try and make sure that is rectified for future videos if that's something you guys are interested in. Um, anyway, off topic. Um, so let's jump right into it with, let's start with gameplay. So for me, as a big Star Wars fan, I'm just going to put that out there so I may come across a bit biased. Um, as a big Star Wars fan, I've very much enjoyed this game. Other people on the other hand may class this as, I don't know, um, as, a, as a platforming issue in this game because there is a lot of, as you can see here what I'm repeating, um, running along walls, falling, double jumping, jumping to different platforms, freezing things, um, sliding down things as I'll show you up here in a minute or so I believe. Um, so if you're not very keen on a platform or third person game, um, that's fine, but uh, you may find a little bit of struggle, shall we say, um, with this. Um, yeah, but apart from that, uh, that's all I have to say really uh, when it comes to platforming. Uh, now let's, that, that, that was my downside part, let's move on to the good part, shall we? So this game moves in my opinion very very smoothly um, every stroke every hit you make with this lightsaber seems very clean um, As I was saying, this um, every stroke that you make with this lightsaber is very, very clean, very smooth, and I see, and I think personally that comes across as well in the platforming and exploration of this game, uh, where it is very smooth. I haven't ever come across any part in the game I would say where I felt that it went slow or lagged or went a bit chunky apart from maybe when you're uh, exploring nice parts of the world and it does have to do that thing where it freezes your screen and it has to load in another chunk in the world um, because you've moved through it way too fast <laughs> um, but that's fine um, I completely understand that and I go through that in other games as well um, and personally, I don't see that as being too big of a problem. Um, but again, um, that's just me. I'm playing on PS4. This is all PS4 gameplay. Other people on Xbox and PC, I believe, may not even have this problem. It could just be a PS4 console thing, um, which is totally fine. Now, let's move on to some proper late game uh, control gameplay, shall we? So, as you can see, 
I, there are three modes of difficulty before I say any more, um, which show you and allow you, will show you the differences and allow you to choose how you want to play. Um, so I'm playing on, I think, a regular difficulty, um, which means I have a good parry. Um, window um, as well as um, the difficulty in um, health that enemies aren't that hard but like I said when it comes back to the smoothness I find that it's very smooth where as you just saw I can force pull an enemy I can reject a lightsaber I can deflect a lightsaber bot I can push an enemy off a cliff um, and I think that is very good I think respawn and EA have uh, done very, very well with that. Um, again, with this being an EA game, I was worried um, that it was gonna be a bit messed, messed up and a bit screwed up, not gonna lie. Um, but that's not the case with this game. Respawn seems to have been left to their own devices and just to take it and do it. Um, and I think that is very, very cool, and very good. Um, if you want to compare it to old Star Wars games like The Force Unleashed, it's not like that at all, but in a good way. Um, so, I think that if you're looking for a Force Unleashed game here, you may be in for a pleasant surprise, or maybe a little bit of a disappointment, depending on how much of a fan you are of um, that play style, or I guess. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so let's move on with the story review. Uh, so the story review is me just talking about the story, uh, what I thought of it, personal opinions, not going to drop in too many spoilers, um, because obviously this is a review for you guys who have not bought the game yet. Um, so the storyline, you start off as you play as a guy called Cal, um, you are a Force Awakened child, this is what we look like. Uh, we are a Force Awakened child, adult, teen, adolescent, whatever you want to call, whatever you want to call it. Um, and obviously, during this time, the Force is a prohibited thing, and you should not have it. Basically, um, the Empire believes um, that uh, all Force Awakened ch children and anybody who's got the Force is a threat, and they should be eliminated. Um, so when Cal is forced to re re reveal his powers, he's then put in jeopardy, and one thing moves along to another. You get up and join your little crew, which I'll show you near at the end of the video. I think they make an appearance, um, and you then go on this excellent journey. This is the first planet you go to. Uh, without saying too much, you find little BD here. Um, yeah, BD, there he is, she is, whatever you want to call it. I mean, that's a robot at the end of the day. Um, and you go on a journey. That's all I'm going to say on the story. I don't want to spoil too much. I'm sure all of you hardcore Star Wars fans already have some sort of um, knowledge, shall I put it? Or maybe you don't. Maybe you've uh, look, locked yourself in a room and ignored everything until you've uh, got the chance to get this game, which is fair enough. Um, while we're on the hardcore Star Wars fans, <laughs> you will be surprised and happy to know that you do make some guest appearances, uh, Star Wars guest appearances on uh, key planets. Um, and you may run into some key figures <clears throat> and key characters that you know from the Star Wars films, comics, etc, etc. Now, that's all of the good out of the way. Um, no, it's not. I need to talk about replayability. Now, when it comes to this game, when you've completed this game, depending on how you play, as you can see, these, these planets are pretty big. There are different levels to them as well. Um, so when you land on these planets all of these well not all of these most of these areas are blocked off 
because you haven't you don't start off with all these abilities every time you go to a different planet you go to a temple and in this temple or vault you then unlock a new force ability and that's how you sort of progress without giving too much away that is how you progress and get through the game and unlock new abilities you travel you get a new ability you come back you travel you get a new ability you come back so in the sense of is it repetitive no not really because every planet gives its own sort of feel and spin on things so you sort of forget in the basics you are sort of doing the same thing um, and then obviously you get these new abilities you can unlock new areas and you go and explore so it could be that you've went to a vault or a temple like the one that you see over there in the distance you're coming back with this new I don't know, force push ability um, and you're coming back and all of a sudden you can start blowing open walls and going down these new paths and opening these chests that allow you to collect these collectibles or BD's going off and he's finding his own little scan and things to help you with lore and stuff like that etc etc um, so the replayability side very very good especially if you want a more um, challenging side of things I guess uh, with the difficulty if you wanted to go back like I've played on regular if I want to go back play on the veteran difficulty or the harder difficulty then I can um, and I don't think I would get bored with that I think it would offer me new challenges so anybody who feels um, that that is a good mechanic like I do fair play there's your replayability side of it um, so let's move on to the cons of this game now I am going to talk purely from a PS4 side it could not be it could be that none of these actually occur in Xbox or PS4 uh, Xbox or PC rather but we'll see how it goes so as you can clearly see that's why I keep repeating in this area um, you do have some frame chunks very it doesn't load in very well sometimes and I come across that again in cinematics where sometimes it's a bit chunky or something hasn't quite loaded in um, simple patches and bug fixes will get this but if when and if this comes around and if it will fix the problem we'll have to wait and see um, but like I said it hasn't really prohibited me in the gameplay it hasn't ruined anything for me um, but it, again it is an issue that could be resolved as you can see you know look, look, you jump it's a bit laggy everything loads in all of a sudden and again I get this on models on when you land on different planets you'll get a very a very model pixelated esque look um, and you have to wait a couple seconds for it to load in um, but that's okay I get that with other games as well every game's not perfect um, however I believe this is something that could be rectified again with the lights and shadows um, now another thing that I'm going to talk about is the map both this and the star map back on the ship um, mainly more to do with planet maps from BD like this um, I'm going to be straight with you guys I didn't always like this model map sense because it gets very layery on especially on some planets you have maybe six seven eight layers up and down um, and it can get very confusing I'm not gonna lie like you want to get to one area so you, you have to go down a level across up a level back over, and you have to try and find yourself around um, that's just me in a personal opinion other people could not have that issue um, but me um, as a completionist and a trophy hunter of sorts I found that a, a, a bit annoying um, and this is where this is what I want to bring to the table for you guys I talk about I when I do these reviews I will talk about these games um, for the 100 percenters for the trophy hunters for the platinum pursuers um, now I have completed this game 100 percent trophy all trophies complete um, and I found this game 
still very, very exciting and very fun while I was doing this 100%. Um, that I was never really bored. Um, and it wasn't actually that hard. I didn't have to use that many tutorials or that many videos to try and find what I was looking for. Um, so, obviously, for this 100%, you do have to get all the collectibles, such as the BD Stim, Stim Canisters, such as all the cosmetics that you can see here, as well as the stuff that you get for your lightsaber, um, as well as the BD Lure Logs, such as all of these. Now, most of these you get through the main story anyway. Like, you're probably looking at this going, oh my god, how has he had the time to go through and find all of these? Not that hard. <laughs> I swear. Um, especially for all of them hardcore trophy hunters, veterans, whatever you want to call them. Um, it's not that hard to find. You do find most of these just through pursuing the main story and occasionally going off the beaten track. It's not that hard. Um... So, yeah, that is pretty much um, the review of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order for you guys. Uh, just bear in mind, this is my first review that I'm doing. Um, hopefully, I will be able to build a bit more confidence up, sort my life out, <laughs> and um, be able to bring you guys uh, more content in the future. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe, give me some hints, give me some tricks um, from what I can quiet. do Not a uh, to help degrees. show you guys I need a second. in the future. Uh, please remember to like, comment and subscribe if you are new and this video has helped you. Thank guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. This is Raven's Reviews and I will see you guys later.